Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today I am explaining the concept of smoke testing. Sanity testing. Third one is regression testing. So very very important concepts in software testing okay if you are new here don't worry we will break it down in some very very simple terms so first of all what is what is smoke testing what is smoke testing okay so for example for example you are buying a new car okay you are buying a new car before taking it on a long road trip before taking in a long road trip so first of all you would check if it is start if it is start and run smoothly run smoothly or not right that is similar to what smoke testing does for software so in the same case i am taking another example regarding uh, real time web application okay simple very very simple example so everyone can understand this example okay so i am taking one login future so login so so many times uh, i am using this login functionality why because this is the basic basic thing everyone can easily understand okay so user by using this example you can uh, use your knowledge on another futures with the same methodology okay password mm. password and the login button okay so in smoke testing in this case you would check if the login page loads without any errors if in case any user login any user login through website url so in that case that login page loads without any errors or not so after that you can check and also you can enter valid credentials so in this case what is the valid credentials username and password and login button okay this is the login check so you can enter valid credentials to login successfully so this is the basic thing basic functionality you are checking here right so this verification is nothing but smoke testing this verification is nothing but smoke testing so please remember in your mind you are not checking entire functionality just you are checking that login functionality is working or not at high level this is nothing but smoke testing okay i am taking another example same in e-commerce website so i am uh, i am taking another example like uh, e-commerce website okay so in this smoke testing on e-commerce website some critical features are there so what is that adding items to the cart this one is very important and this one is very very important future in e-commerce website okay second one is proceed to buy proceed to buy third one is payment 
payment so this is the up to now this is the very very important and crucial functionalities in e-commerce application okay so while performing smoke testing on this functionality what do you check okay you can check items are adding to the cart correctly or not so after that proceed to buy is working or not and after that entering some payment details so after entering these details work smoothly without any major issues or not so if in case you can identify any issues here it is it is you can immediately you can inform to the dev team dev means development team okay and also i am taking uh, actually up to now i am taking two web applications uh, examples um, i am also taking one mobile application okay so in this mobile application what are the critical and what are the core functions of uh, of this uh, mobile applications like you can open this app i am i am assuming this this is the app okay so you can open this app navigating between the screens one screen to another screen and also yeah, uh, access the primary features like uh, login feature so after login some primary features are there primary means important okay primary primary means important features okay so very very big big advantage and uh, very very um, important interview question is what is mock testing how it will how you will perform okay why mock testing these three questions are very very important in interview level okay so in this case i am taking one by one and also please note it down in your notebooks okay so in smoke smoke testing is nothing but smoke testing is nothing but check the application functionality high level high level okay so the next one is the next one is why is smoke testing okay why is smoke testing so smoke testing helps catch significant issues in the early stage of testing okay like uh, simple uh, terms in simple terms uh, how can i say uh, it's like a quick health check for software before conducting like uh, uh, more detailed test so before conducting your detailed test so you can check the high level and also you can uh, catch the major issues at the early stage so that is the reason you can use smoke testing okay uh, smoke oh, sorry smoke smoke testing smoke testing catch the catch the major issues major issues early in the testing phase testing phase so it is like it is like it is like quick like quick health checkup 
check check for your software your software application or software okay so before before conducting before conducting more more detailed tests okay so after that how to perform smoke testing so how to perform test how to perform smoke testing in this case you can identify the what are the critical features or what are the critical functionalities in your application first of all you need to you need to identify the critical features in your application okay after that create 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 simple test cases for those features okay after that execute your test cases execute your test cases after after each build after each build after each build release okay so this is the perform smoke testing on your application after every build okay so this is the complete and it's very it's very simple so i am i'm repeating once again i am also telling on uh, i am now i am telling uh, uh, real time example so for example amazon application is there so you are a employee at amazon so your manager uh, give some task perform smoke testing so some version is related uh, release it to uh, so on so on environment okay so you can perform some uh, smoke testing on that environment like u8 environment is there so in that case you can perform some smoke testing uh, like login functionality of amazon is working or not okay and also basic navigations are working as correctly or not search functionality is working or not cart functionality is working or not and uh, returns and orders orders page is working or not payments page is working or not you are checking high level not in depth so you are checking high level that is working or not that's it okay so this is about smoke testing so now it's very very important thing sanity testing so very very big confusion between the smoke testing and sanity testing okay so let's say for example let's say for example imagine you have built a house okay and before uh, i'm taking i'm drawing some uh, diagram you can easily understand after that i cleared actually all these things okay so now so you have built a house okay you have built a house and before so this is your this is you okay so before you move in, move in you want to ensure or you want to verify the basic things work or not like water supply water supply okay electricity and also doors okay doors open and close similarly in the software so similar similarly in the software development sanity testing is a quick round of testing to check if the software is still alive after small changes or fixes without going through the entire testing process so you can uh, like basically you are performing sanity testing on build build stage 
okay so on build stage so after release a build you can check that all the build build is working or not perfectly all the build features are working or not so sanity uh, testing is nothing but subset of regression testing so i am telling what uh, i will tell what is regression testing what it is how we to perform how to perform that one okay so one minute uh, i am taking like one calculator application here uh, one minute give me a moment so smoke testing is what smoke testing is high level testing on the application okay after build is released releases to somewhere some somewhere means some environment so coming to the sanity testing it is also so in the you can check uh, on smoke testing stability okay stability smoke testing like uh, you you are the tester you can do that smoke testing developers also do the smoke testing so but sanity testing only testers can do in the smoke testing level like you can check the critical functionalities of entire application but in the sanity testing you can check the new functionalities and uh, new stories like new bug fixes or new defects okay sanity testing is like regression subset of regression testing i already told smoke testing is nothing but it is a subset of acceptance testing so smoke testing you can perform uh, testing on end to end up end to end but sanity testing verify only the particular component so let's say for example uh, your build one is released to the uat environment so after release the build to the uat environment you can check you can perform some smoke testing on it so how to perform it so you can check the entire application working working or not any major issues are uh, any major, major any major issues are come or not so you can verify like this but in sanity testing you can check new functionalities in the build new functionalities in the build and bug fixes in the build okay so it will check the build is stable or not it will it will check build is stable or not after you can implement some new functionalities and bug fixes bug fixes in the build okay that's it that is about uh, that that is clearly about sanity testing and smoke testing like uh, i am taking one uh, calculator application i am taking one calculator application so in that calculator application we recently fixed additional functionality okay so additional functionality and now we want to run sanity test so in this case we will check basic operations like addition subtraction multiplication division work so without going to deep into advanced functions so you are checking the basic functionality of that of that application of that future so but change on addition but you can check addition as well as subtraction multiplication division so those features are working as per the requirement or not so and also i am taking the another example e-commerce website imagine a recent update was made to the add to cart okay add to cart this one is a add to cart sanity testing here here involves like checking if the crucial feature still working as per the uh, requirement without retesting the entire website's functionalities okay you can check that functionality is working or not that feature is developed the feature is implemented okay you can check that functionality is working or not okay so in that case sanity in the sanity testing 
mainly focuses on the critical function activities. In smoke testing also it focuses on the same but here you can focus on the build. In smoke testing entire functionality after the build. Okay. So it is a subset of regression testing I already told. Okay. So it is main aim of this sanity testing. Recent changes. Okay. So recent changes have not affected the core functionalities. Okay. So smoke testing check the high level of the of your application but sanity testing so recent changes have not affected the core functionalities so this is about this is about sanity testing okay sanity testing so after that after that regression testing so regression testing sorry i am writing uh, something uh, some information about uh, sanity testing okay after that uh, we can move to regression testing so sanity testing sanity testing is a quick round of uh, quick round of testing to check if the software the check the software software is still in it still in still in it is alive after small changes or fixes without going through going through entire process so without going through entire process okay this is about sanity testing so after that very very important very very important and very very important interview question also so in the concept level it is also important and in the interview section also it is very very important thing okay so i am i am taking very clearly so please listen clear carefully okay regression testing verifies that the older and already functioning parts of your software okay even after new changes are implemented simply says so imagine you have a recipe app that helps users cook delicious meal your app your app has a future where user can search for recipes by ingredients now you have added a new feature allow, allowing user to save their favorite recipes so in this case like i am taking this one mm. I am removing. I am. I am removing the, all these things on my board. Okay. So now uh, you are seeing a fresh board. Okay. So now I am uh, draw two columns. Two columns. Like original futures. Original. Original futures and the new futures. New futures. So. so in the original futures so search with ingredients okay search with ingredients and added a new feature allow uh, like uh, and save favorite recipes in new feature save favorite recipes in the new feature when you add the save favorite recipe feature you want to make sure it does not mess up the existing search by ingredients this is the existing feature this is the new feature right so whenever you add this feature into your application you want to make sure it does not uh, disturb the existing future okay so regression testing helps the confirm the old future search by ingredients still work perfectly fine even after the new feature is added okay understood right so 
I'm taking like some more examples. Now consider uh, an e-commerce website. You have updated the payment gateway for faster transactions. But after the update, customer complain, complain about the not receiving order confirmation emails. So regression testing steps to ensure the fundamental functionality like order confirmation emails remains unaffected by the payment gateway change. So finally, the final conclusion is in regression testing, you need you need to check. So you need to check affected thing and as well as the affected futures also. So for example, so you can implement this save functionality, the affected functionality is ingredients, right? So you can check this save and this ingredients. So that is nothing but this is nothing but um, regression testing. Okay. So in this class, I am discussing about this uh, smoke testing, sanity testing, regression testing. So I am writing something like regression testing. So regress in regression testing. In, in regression testing, you can check, you can check, you can check new future plus affected, affected areas, okay, affected areas. This is nothing but regression testing. So in this class, I am discussing about the regression testing, smoke testing, sanity testing very clearly with the real time examples guys. Okay. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. So and like, like my video and share to your friends. Okay. Thanks for watching.